morning, sunshine. You're no longer coming with me to Ceres. Let's get our last week started. An anomaly. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Oh, we need to go over there. Okay, I'm going. Oh, it is so dark. Oh, it is so dark, Liv. Liv, it's so dark. Quick, get over here to this maintenance panel. Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Oh, God. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Okay, you got it. I'm on it. Come on, take... You can move faster than that. Seriously? You won't go unless I have the light on it? Ugh, Liv, you are useless. There you go. Yeah, get in there. What's going on? You need my light? Do you need any help? Got some fused wiring. Don't mind me. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. What? Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? Do you have enough light in there? Okay, yeah, it's got its own little light. Um, sure. I'll, ooh, hold on. I see you, little cube. Ugh. Gotcha. Go, be free. Oh, we're gonna get that encrypted audio. We're gonna find out the truth of whatever truth I'm trying to find out. Liv, do you need duct tape? Ugh. You will certainly be leaving Kronos 2 with a vast surplus of duct tape, Liv. No. That's because duct tape fixes everything. Everything? Everything? <laughs> what? You don't think so? Um, I mean, it's... it cannot! No, it can't. I have repair schematics for over 50,000 hardware profiles, and none of them mention duct tape. <laughs> You're just not being creative enough. That's true, As Jack. you say, Captain. Let's get the junction online so we can start the diagnostics. But, I want to go Liv, outside. This airlock has been inoperable for 57 days. And when Shit. Hit 64 days, it'll no longer be my problem. You mean it will be my problem? Heavy is the head that bears the crown, Jack. God. I better get a raise for all the new shit that I'm going to be dealing with. I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the parts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong oh. with the station. Ooh. Affirmative. Going hot. Hell Electronic yeah. Electronic interface. <sighs> I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the <laughs> I.O. port. Uh, scanner, yes, got it. Boom. Link. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Oh. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. This one. Did that do anything? Oh, is that what this is? Did I turn this on? O2 balance cover. Turn on my laser. Zappity, zappity. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Get the hell does that mean? One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. What the hell? Uh, Liv, I'm probably gonna end up killing you here. These controls adjust the balance between oxygen output and CO2 capture. Okay. I'll need to redirect power from the junction first. Oh. Oh, okay, so I need to go to this one. This is the one I turn power on. Flow control cover. Got it. Zap, zap. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. And boom. That didn't do anything. Oh, I need to actually pump it. I see. Okay. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Water flow restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters. Good. Be healthy, plants. I know we've lived on a spaceship for years together, but today really does feel like my first day on the job. And I think I'm doing swimmingly. And straight ahead. There we go. There we are. Alright, O2 balancer. Um, hmm. Turn this off real quick. Don't. Oh, I see. Oh, we need to get them both into optimal levels. Got it. Too much there. Can I crank this one down? What about this? So that's oxygen there. They're both even. 
Oh, come on now. Yeah. Bio regenerative systems calibrated. Got CO2 it. capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattery. Apologies, Liv. I um, didn't mean to sound clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the ring. I think I'll keep it, actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Um, hey, Liv? Uh, I do like botany, actually. Yes. <laughs> A robot gardener. I guess the truth really is stranger than fiction. What's funny about that? I could be anything I want to be. That's two down. Let's tackle the last system. Okay. The Helium-3 containers seem undamaged. Good. We've never dropped a quota and we're not going to start now. Oh, that's all the shit we've been mining. Okay. So there's a there's a cube outside the ship, Liv. Um, no idea how we're going to get that, but cool stuff. All right, let me switch this up. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. Sure, sure, sure. Yep. Very good at scanning now. The coils have been damaged. Hmm. Shit. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. Uh-huh. How? Parts of the coils are damaged. If I can form one complete row, I should be able oh, to restore we power flow. Conversion Whoa. coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able one to get the transformer back row. online. Oh, so, okay, blue is good. Um, so we need to create some sort of complete row. That should be good, right? Like that? Power current stabilized. Conversion process successful. Current Easy. Strong. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Yeah, can we, uh, can we do that? Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right, I'm about done here. All right. Do you see the access panel near me? I, I'm literally touching it, yes. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Okay, yep. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. All right, got to cut this bad boy open. Throw the breaker the on her command. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Okay. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. I am full. I'm ready. Uh, let's On do your it. command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen garden oh, operational. Hell Environmental yeah. control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. That is Hopefully it's awesome. That way. The don't UV jinx light? It, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. <laughs> that is so cool. Despite the damage, the test groups appear unharmed. Well, there's still the ground fault in the cargo bay and the temperature spike in core containment. What's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's do do the cargo bay. Let's that get the cargo good. bay squared away. Yeah. Okay, follow me. After One you, milady. Cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. All right, so what are we doing? Liv's luggage. Oh, this is all your crap, huh? Fuse compartment. The fuse looks intact. Power flow stable. Come to Papa. Gotcha. Bring up the next candidate, please. Wait, what? Echo program candidate number 37. Lieutenant Rhodes, Olivia J. Ah, now this one's promising. Accepted into the US and Aerospace Academy at 16. Exemplary marks in engineering, geology, robotics. <laughs> Elite stuff. All the versatility you could want on an astronaut. The USN even approached her for the Pythias initiative, but she declined. I'm not interested in leaving the solar system, I guess. And a psych profile. She's right on the money. Took some prying, but the interviewer got her to open up about a family. Check the fuse compartments, Jack. See if you can find a blown fuse. Shh. You could tell they were close. Probably had to look after him a lot with two scientists for parents. That's just what we need for Echo One. She's perfect. Oh. 
So that was when she was first starting. So something happened with her brother, which is why she didn't want to talk about that family picture back there. Interesting. I think I've located the problem. This fuse is blown. We'll need a replacement. Affirmative. Wait there. I'll bring you a new one from the supply drawers. Okay. Whoa. I'm not very good at throwing things. Thank you for Thank the you. assist. Got you covered. And oh no. In we go. Power flow restored. Maglocks coming online. Got it. Copy that. Go ahead and secure the cargo. Oh now, so now I have to collect all the cargo? What does this do? This lever locks the cargo in place in case of a power flow. Oh. Okay, let's grab this. There we go. Strong one. contact from the maglocks. That's one down. Hell yeah, we did it. Uh, where the hell is the rest of this cargo? And in it goes. Got it. Two down, live. We are almost there. Christmas present? Do not open till Christmas. An early Christmas present. Aww. Who is this from? Titan Command sent it. They send one to every officer assigned to a remote station. Why do they do that? To remind us of civilization, I suppose. Some people don't take well to the isolation. It can be taxing. And clunk. Just one more to go. One more to go, Liv. Where the hell is it? What is that? Radiation damage. This device is designed to purge high levels of radiation. Hmm. Hopefully, we never have to use it. Ah, there it is. Yeah, uh, radiation would be bad. I think radiation would be not good. And in it goes. Cargo secure. Done. Let's lock the system down to make sure this doesn't happen again. You got it. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Lockdown engaged. Boom. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome. You're better already. Me too. Let's move on, shall we? All right, what's left? That just leaves the temperature spike in core containment. Okay. Oh, Jack. Core containment. Uh. Hey, hey, Liv. Uh, when you say like temperature spike, and you know radiation and stuff, this isn't gonna hurt me, right? We're gonna be. Fine. Is this okay? Nothing conclusive. Your body is radiation hardened. Care to take a look inside? Oh, I'll so it will harm me. Hera, oh, disable boy. all containment safety protocols and unseal the hatch. Acknowledged. Awaiting manual operation. Head on in. I'll see you on the other side. Um, okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. My little, poor little robot body is going to just collapse. Oh, that is... Ooh. That is cool. All right, going in. I'm going in. I'm in. You'll need hey, to Liv. seal yourself in before we can expose the cause, Jack. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I got it. Nope, that is going to close. There it is. Yeah, let's just expose my beautiful robot body to some radiation. That's going to be I fun. I finish calibrating my radiation shield before we continue. Acknowledged. Standing by. Uh, oh, here we go. Irradiated zone Your ahead. Your scanner can detect hazardous radiation fields capable of damaging you. Please activate your scanner and use it to assess the irradiated area ahead. Okay. Sure. Your scanner places tracking points that display the area's radiation level. Oh. When you are ready to proceed, please exit the activation pod. So I, I see him on the ground there. Red is bad. Your radiation shield will protect you for a limited time. Great. A shield meter is located on both of your wrists below your arm computer. You uh -huh, can use yep. this to monitor your shield levels. Now please use your scanner to find the least hazardous route through the room. Okay. The exit. So it's really anything near this. So we just need to kind of stay away from that bad boy with its 5,000 radigens. The radiation will drain your shield faster. The radiation monitor on your wrist displays oh, shit. the radiation level of your current location. Please keep it in mind. If your shield is depleted, your body will suffer irreparable damage. Oh, God. Please be careful. Oh, I hate it. Radiation shield fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. Okay. The code is 5826. 5826. Authorization accepted. Oh, shit. Radiological activity oh God. detected. Liv? That explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Oh, God. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On it. Uh, this one is mm, good. Pretty far off the mark. Good. Try scanning somewhere else. All these are good. Nice Perfect. Shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. Oh, that one? 39? I'll activate the I.O. port so you can yep. scan it to okay. open the enclosure. 
10 per second, not bad. And scanning. Enclosure unlocked. Oh boy. Scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem. Uh, how do I do that? Are these the cores here? 39. Micro fractures oh, in the there fuel we go. assembly. Radiation at unsafe levels. How do I? That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. Yeah. We'll need to jettison the core. Do okay. It, enter 6102 at the central console. 6102. 6102. Core released. Bring it to the disposal conduit at the bottom of the chamber. How do I? Oh, oh I see. I see. Got it. That is open the conduit, you'll need not to seat looking the good. Core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Where? Keep an eye on your shield levels while you're in transit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do I go? Ah, here we go. Disposal conduit. Uh, okay, hold on. Emergency disposal conduit online. Yeah, there we go. Plug it in. Core marked for disposal. Stand by. Bye, Fusion Core. Awaiting manual confirmation. Oh, hell yeah, confirm that shit. Radioactive material <laughs> oh, shit. The area is still irradiated. There has to be another damage. I'm gonna recharge core. here real Check quick. The other enclosures. I'll keep looking. Ah, that's nice. This core is similar there to the is. Bloody hell. It has to go. Okay. Punch in seven six four one at the central console to unlock it. Seven six four one. Punched. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. You got it, Liv. Bye, Fusion Core. Radioactive material oh, shit. jettisoned. Radiation so good. levels returning to normal. Yeah. God for that. Looks like we live to fight another day. We did it, Liv. Let's shut the enclosures so we can get you out of there. Please do. Re-enter the code in the center console. Five eight two six. Oh yeah, I did it. And I'm still relatively healthy. Cores are locked up. Liv, I'm Core feeling good. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. I got this. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell. What? Really? I can just wait. Liv, that. But, but it's me. It's it's still me. It's Jack. Oh, all right. Rebooting. Initiating manual reboot. Oh God. Reboot initiated. Um. Oh, weird. I'm just above myself. Wait, can I see my body? Oh, Liv. You're a murderer. Oh, wow. My body really was not doing too well. I'll meet you on the other <laughs> oh my side. God. By the hatch. That was me? Oh, dang. Look at my fetal position. I don't have much of a butt either. Can I spin myself? <laughs> oh yeah, I wish this was real life, where I could just reboot into a new body that didn't have crippling issues. And closing the hatch. Liv, I think we have solved all of the problems. We should reseal the hatch before we move on, Jack. I did. Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. <laughs> nice job in there, Jack. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right, Get out of here. that ought to do it. We're all set. Okay, good. Hey, What's next? Jack. Yeah. High five. Oh, heck yeah, Liv. There you go. I appreciate the help, Jack. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. New objective. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. Learn more about the anomaly. You got it. Uh, I mean, also that. Yeah, but I, I gave up. I chose to abandon that directive some time ago. Shut up. That's not funny. Wait, are we going to an airlock? Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, oh, shit. Hera. What is it? Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Heck, yeah. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, suppose I can't argue with that. Okay, Jack. Let's see what we have. All right. So what is this thing? That's our ship, right? Hera, status report. Status green. Yeah. All systems nominal. Good job, well, Liv. That's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. 
Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Oh shit. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Um, okay, yep. Zoom in, please, Hera. Oh damn. Okay. Let's the hell see. is that? Uh alright, yeah, I want the inner thermometer reading. Hmm. Yep, I that makes sense to me. How about that one? Okay, yep. Curious. Things look I good. Can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. Me either. What about you? I, I mm, uh, you know it did no. No, I'm afraid not. The data looks to be unreadable. It's the same for all the readings: spectrometer, interferometer, that lidar, word. all rubbish. Hmm. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What Shit. now? I don't know. Um, I mean, I do know. <gasps> yes, I'm I'll gonna go, go outside. To the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. Absolutely. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. Yeah. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? That's a good point, though. Um. I was... Ugh, I appreciate the concern. I appreciate your concern, but there really is no other option. We need to determine the nature of this anomaly. True. Shit. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time, then. Yep, that's... Let's get you into the airlock. Shall oh, we? yes. Yes. Caution. Airlock opening. Oh, hell yes. Be home in time for dinner. I will live. I promise. Oh, I want to go outside so bad. This is going to be amazing. If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. One of these? Just take one off the rack. Uh, what does this do? You'll need to secure the rig to your back. Okay. EVA rig secured. Oh, Initializing advanced movement systems. Nice. Stand by for calibration. Oh boy, here we go. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Oh my god, Multiple seriously? boosts may be required. Oh yeah, now we're speeding. Oh shit. Damn, you could have killed me, Hera. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters. Oh, we don't need to learn how to brake. Stop in place without grabbing any surface. Whatever. And brake. Oh, Success. all right. Now Use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone Whoa, A. Whoa, and goo. EVA rig fully functional, oh. ready to disembark. Copy. Airlock controls unlocked. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Ah, uh, what handle? Oh, the big handle in front of my face. Got it. Hey, Liv. Once the inner door is sealed, you're clear to cycle the airlock. Uh, we're gonna be good. All right. Sealed. Oh, depressurize the shit out of this. Oh Once the yes. Once the cycled, head outside and make your way to the anomaly. I'm so excited. Get a scan if possible, but don't put yourself at any unnecessary risk. I won't. Understood. I'm going back up to the bridge. I can keep a better eye on your status from there. Okay. Keep this comm channel open. Maintain constant contact. Copy that. I mean, can you play some music over the channel though? Maybe? Depressurization complete. Yes. Ready for EVA departure. Be careful out there. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. I'm in space. Exiting port side airlock. Copy. I'm in there space. There should be a Fury transport dock just outside the airlock. Whoa. Should take you straight to the anomaly. You'll need to run a diagnostic check before you can take off. Okay. Understood. Holy shit. This is so cool. This is so freaking cool. That anomaly has grown a hundred times the size. Whoa! Look at our ship! Oh! Oh! This is so cool! Is that... Earth! Saturn is a big planet. Our ship is so neat! This rotates to keep gravity. Oh. Alright, um, yes, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, I love it. A spotlight. Ooh. 
That'll be handy, probably, because you need light and space. Holomap. Diagnostic, let's do it. Prep for RCS thruster calibration. Please hold on to the railing for the duration of the test flight. Yes, ma'am. Initiating RCS thruster test in three, two. Oh God. One. Ooh. Oh, this isn't bad. So that'll keep me controlled. Nice. Whoa. Ooh, we got some kick on that. Oh, we're going back. Oh, Fury that is transport neat. Transport calibration complete. Perfect. Liv, uh, the Fury transport is set for flight. Great. Coordinates have already been uploaded to the Navcon. Just touch the marked location on the hollow map and you'll be on your way. Okay. I'll monitor you from the bridge. All right, I'm ready. Good luck. Thank you. Oh. Select let's your go. destination. Uh, I want to investigate the anomaly. Confirm. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh, we are coming for you. Let's get out my scanner just so I can be ready for it. And we'll get the. Oh I'm no! Underway. Distance oh, to anomaly: 4,800 meters. Copy that. That was almost I have a, a disaster. Um. All right. Wow, we're moving. 500 meters. Prometheus. This is so 2, cool. 2,000 meters. Stay Bye, Liv. Goes. Godspeed. Thank you. Oh, what is going to happen? Just incredible. Right? Um. Whoa. Jack. Oh, the shit. Malfunction. I have no control. Oh, my God. Toward the anomaly. Remote link's been severed. I can't reboot the transport. Um, Liv? What the hell is happening? What is that? There's something spinning. Um, there's like debris coming out of it. Uh, Liv, I'm taking radiation damage. Oh abort, shit! Jack, get out of there now! What do you mean abort? Oh, Just it's getting ditch bad. Just the fury. Um. Go. Okay. Okay. Who? Who? Evacuating fury. Hurry, Jack! Get clear of that radiation. Ooh. Stand by. Oh god. Jack. Fury has completely oh dropped God. off my scope. Total loss of signal. It, oh it's just... It's gone. On approach, I noticed the anomaly was pulling the surrounding debris into its center. You think the anomaly is housing some kind of oh singularity? God. That would be consistent with my observations, yes. Needless to say, I doubt we'll be seeing that Fury transport again. Liv, I'm not gonna make it. Okay. It's going down. Well, so much for scanning the anomaly up close. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We might make it. Oh, wow, I am traveling in space. Holy crap! Shields at thirty percent. Holy crap! Okay, yep. Nope. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, come on. Get down to nominal levels. We can do this. You can survive, Jack. Almost down to zero. Yes. Yes. Oh, things are vibrating. Oh my God. Oh, I'm in bad shape. Oh, I'm in bad shape. Look at my hands. Oh God. Okay. We're in good levels. We're in good levels. Holy Liv, shit. I'm clear of the radiation. You all right? Still functional. Though I must say my oh shell isn't exactly in the best condition. In that case, I recommend using your arm computer to reboot. It's the quickest way back to the station. And you can start fresh in a new shell. Liv, do you see the tendrils coming out of this? This is not going to be good.